The NBA conference in Port Harcourt, River State, continues with this session on how to achieve more efficiency in the dispensation of justice. The president-elect drops a hint that lawyers and members of the association must begin to adopt new ways in the discharge of their duties to match best global practice. We have to be prepared to take certain bold decisions. They may appear negative at this point in time, or they may appear contentious, but if we don't make the sacrifices and really prepare a profession and association for the future challenges, we'll be facing much more difficult times ahead. So we want to engage our members, we want to interrogate all of these issues, and we want to come up with clear, deliverable consensus on how to move forward and become a respectable bar association like many of the associations we relate with across the world. They want to wear white and white. And then the deliberation on the role of the military in stabilizing democracy and achieving economic growth is a focus of this session, chaired by the Chairman, Senate Committee on Defense. Some speakers believe the military plays a vital role in this regard. It is only economic development that can improve the living conditions of our people. And the military must continue to stand up to be counted in this endeavor to sustain democracy and promote economic development in our country. This speaker, however, brings a twist to the conversation with a quote. Democracy does not depend on the military. The reason is obvious. That is why 21 countries in the world, they don't have military at all. So if the military were a democratic institution, it would be impossible to have a nation with democracy and no military. As more deliberations continues on pressing national issues at the 56th NBA conference, Many of the speakers at this event have identified corruption as enemy number one and the need to fight it together in the country, especially within the ambit of a law, and emphasize the call on the judiciary to maintain its dignity in the face of political persuasions. Emmanuel Ire, Channel Television News. That conference is holy. In the South South, in the North Central, let's bring you news of issues of governance in Kwara State. Now, 300 million naira will be set aside monthly by the Kwara State government to offset the debt owed contractors. The money will be taken from the state's internally generated revenue and managed by the infrastructure.